This video looks at the new MPLAB PicKit 5, Microchip's new cost-effective debugging and programming tool with standalone programming features. The MPLAB PicKit 5 supports all Microchip devices, including PIC, DSPIC, AVR, SAM and CEC devices, and works with the different on-chip debugging interfaces these devices implement. Utilising the built-in emulation circuitry of these devices, the PicKit 5 can execute code with true electrical and timing characteristics, conditionally halt execution, and upload program flow and memory data for display in the MPLAB X IDE. You only need make a few simple connections to get underway. First, connect the PicKit 5 to your host computer using the supplied USB cable. A USB-C connector is used on the debugger, but the cable connects to an A-type connector on your computer. The tool provides an 8-pin single inline connector. Connect this to your hardware directly or via a cable or header to allow debugging using a variety of protocols. When connecting to your own hardware design, the interface circuitry must meet the PicKit communication specification, as described in the PicKit 5 in-circuit debugger user's guide. An adapter board available for separate purchase provides standard connectors for JTAG, SWD, ICSP and AVR protocols. You might already have this board from a previous generation tool. The PicKit 5 is powered through its USB connection to the host computer. It can power the target board if the debugger is connected through an externally powered hub and the target consumes no more than 150 milliamps. The alternative is to power the target board from its own supply. To develop with the PicKit 5, ensure the latest version of the MPLAB X IDE is installed on your development computer. Configure existing projects to use this tool by opening the Project Properties dialog. Click the Configuration category and select PicKit 5 from the list of hardware tools. When creating new projects, Proceed through the New Project dialog, entering your target device, and then select PicKit 5 as the tool. Review the debugger's settings in the Project Properties dialog, under the PicKit 5 category. The default settings typically work with any hardware, but enable the Power Target Circuit from PicKit 5 option if your target board is powered via the PicKit 5. Leave the option disabled otherwise. The PicKit 5 can program devices via either the MPLAB X IDE or IPE. When selecting the Run Project button in the IDE, your project will be built, programmed into the device, then executed, all in one step. You can stop execution when desired, but you cannot debug code in this mode. The PicKit 5 can also program targets without the need for a host computer, using the tool's Programmer to Go feature. This allows one of several pre-programmed program images to be selected and read from a FAT32 formatted micro SDHC card inserted into the tool. The memory card can be programmed from the MPLAB X IDE. In the Project Properties dialog, Go to the PicKit 5 category, then the Programmer to Go option category to set up the programming details. Next, select the Programmer to Go menu item from the Make and Program button. Alternatively, use the IPE application. Enter Advanced Mode, then choose the required hex file. Select the Settings tab, adjust the programming settings as required, then click the Programmer to Go button to commence programming the card. When using Programmer to Go in the field, power for the PicKit 5 can often be obtained from the target hardware, so typically only a connection from the tool to the target is required. Remote programming is initiated by pressing the button under the PicKit logo. Press and hold this same button to reset the PicKit 5 in case of error or after inserting a new memory card. When in Program Out-to-Go mode, no debugging facilities are available. 
colours and sequences illuminated on the strip LED indicate the debugger's status. Programmer to go operations can also be monitored and controlled using an app on your smartphone. Available for Android and iOS, the MPLAB PTG app connects to the PicKit 5 using Bluetooth and allows a program image to be selected from the memory card and programmed. As a debugger, the PicKit 5 can examine and control program execution. When using the MPLAB X IDE, select the Debug Project button. Your project will be built and programmed into the device along with the debug executive, which communicates information to the IDE. Set breakpoints where execution should pause. Then, when the program is suspended, you can view and modify the contents of registers, memory and variables from various views. Note that when debugging some devices, resources such as data and program memory might be used by the debug executive. To see a summary of the resources used, click Release Notes under the Help menu in the MPLABX IDE. Then click the links for the reserved resources on the web page that opens. Other debugger features and special considerations relating to each device family are described in the PicKit 5's User's Guide. With a suite of useful programming and debugging features, plus a standalone programming capacity accessible via your smartphone, the PicKit 5 debugger and production programmer is a versatile choice for cost-effective code development and programming on the go with any microchip device.